Lingnan University is firmly committed to student exchanges. The university's long-term goal is to provide all students with the opportunity to study abroad or in the mainland China for one academic term or semester, and likewise to receive incoming students. More and more students have chosen Lingnan as their exchange university. What are the stories behind their choices? The Lenglens will take you explore the stories of these exchange students at Lenglen. In the first episode of Lenglen, we will take a look at an exchange student from Guangzhou, Sun Yat-sen University. Melody Li is one of the exchange students from mainland China. As a translation major at Sun Yat-sen University. Melody chose to gain a different university experience at Hong Kong Lingnan University. Um, 一向大家都认为香港是一个国际大都市，会有很多机会在里面，所以从来都很憧憬来这里。而且我比较多亲戚啊、朋友啊在这里嘛，然后我就觉得可能相对于其他国家或者其他学校会更容易呃适应那样子。然后，呃，选择岭南吧，我觉得是一个很巧合的机会，因为我开始报的是呃新加坡的，然后我们那个名额就没有了，然后就来到岭南，所以我觉得，呃，说我选择岭南，同时也是岭南选择我是一种双向的巧合呢。Due to the increasingly prevalence of exchange programs between mainland China and Hong Kong, the gap between students from China and Hong Kong has been narrowed. Nevertheless, the different learning environments do give rise to the development of different characteristics in the students. Hmm, 说分别真的很难，我觉得，因为现在。香港跟呃内地都很多交流项目啊，然后更多的香港学生会到内地，而且内地学生也会来这里，这样就会大家都呃走向趋同，大家都很勤奋啊，很喜欢学习那样。但是说到不同，其实也有吧。我觉得最大的不同就是香港的学生更。外向，更具表现力，他们会更活跃。嗯，可能他们更多机会呃去做 presentation 啊，还有更多机会去参加一些国际型的大活动、大会议那样，所以就造成他们在舞台上表演的话就很有表现力，有时候很羡慕他们的。但是像内地的学生，可能就更喜欢在图书里面乖乖的读书啊，然后安静的做一些研究啊那样子。Hong Kong is always proud of its status as an international city, compared with mainland China, which stresses more on the preservation of tradition. Hong Kong shows liveliness through the integration of Western culture into the East. Chinese two cultures, actually, um, the difference is also quite big. Because Hong Kong is a international city, and it has more Western culture than mainland China. 会更多的外国人、外来文化在这里，就像一个 multicultural city 那样子，嗯，会有中西交融的一种氛围。但是在国内的话，应该是传统文化气息比较浓，因为我们很多建筑都呃传统的文化建筑会保存的比较好啦，而且接受的教育有一些是传统文化的教育。那像香港的话，如果你跟他们说老子啊、孔子啊或易经啊，可能很多人都不会知道